Hello my real fans, I'm Ken from KFUN, the real fan. I got a treat for you guys today. We are at the Rolling Hills Red Deer Farm in Catawissa. It's just outside of Knobles, literally 10 minutes down the road. Um, we're going to be taking a tour on a hay ride behind a tractor. We're going to be going through the fields here and checking out some red deer. Um, it's $11 for an adult and from children ages 3 to 17 it's $6 and it's free for anybody under 2. Inside their little shop, which is behind me here, they've got some uh, venison products and shirts. Uh, pretty neat little area, but um, let's go check this out. And if you can, hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, and hit that like button so you know when I put out some new content. But uh, till then, let's jump on this boxcar let's go check it out. It's much greater. Red deer from Europe, Scotland, Ireland, Germany, this is their wild deer. What the red deer are known for is what's called a crown. Now this one only has three points in the crown, but you'll see some of ours out there just in the top of their antler will have eight or ten points. And that's what the red deer are known for. This is off of one that we cut their antlers off of. And the reason we cut their antlers off is so they don't hurt each other. Now we always cut them off in this hardened stage so it doesn't cause the deer any kind of pain. It's just like cutting the end of your fingernail. We have a hydraulic squeeze that squeezes the deer, keeps them from jumping, and then we just take a salzo and cut them off, and then they're on their way. And then what we do is we cut them up for dog chews. Dogs love them. They're harder than anything else that you've tried to use for your dog, and it's actually really good for your dog. The antlers made up a lot of calcium and a lot of mineral. We'll have two feed stops out there, the females and their babies, and then the big males, so make sure you save some for the big males. There's a lot of those that'll come up to the wagon. There's even one that comes up the back steps of the wagon and sticks his head in. <laughs> Yep, I got her. What are the two big ones isolated up in the corner? They're just some friendly ones that we have. Normally, they, if they'd be over there closer to the wagon, we'd stop and throw the treats over to them, but they were always away. They're a couple three-year-old males. So these are bigger than uh, whitetail? Yeah, much bigger, yeah. 
Are they from the West? These are really dead compared. They're from Europe. Oh, okay. Ooh. I'm allergic to apples. Still in velvet.
Mm hmm So they don't have much to rub their antlers off. They have woods that's back there, but they don't really, even mm -hmm. whitetail don't really rub their antlers, the velvet mm -hmm. off that much. Oh, they don't? No, and the artists do a lot of their rubbing in the rut. Oh, okay. Are their antlers heavy? Yeah, they can weigh as much as probably 25 pounds. So why why are some of them starting to shed off? They're just sorry. It's just their time to start losing their <laughs> They're not puppies. I know you cut their antlers and everything off, but um, do they start getting aggressive around the rut and everything? Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, they get real nasty. He's number one, Kenny. So is that when you that when you take the antlers off right we'll before rut? No, we'll take their antlers off here in the next couple of weeks as soon as they start to lose their velvet. Oh, okay. It's more of a lose their velvet. So these are all what four or five years old. The purple tags are two year old. The yellow tags are three year old. The red tags are four. And the So this guy is five years old. Yeah, they get really quite a bit. I know, I saw that. There's, you still have some over there, Chris. There you go. You don't think Max and Ruby would like them? I'm all out. Do you have any more? Here, Alex. I got one more. I have another big one. No, that one too. Yellows are the oldest. No, yellows are the three-year-old. Oh, the blue is the oldest. Yeah, blue is the oldest. Yeah. Purples are the youngest. There's not many of them in there. But... There you go, guys. There's one right there. The young purple wing, young one. Huh? Standing back a little bit. That's really nice. There's like a like a, a a membrane inside the antler. Then that stays all the time. Yeah, it's not it's not really much of anything inside the, inside the antler. It's a little bit porous, but it's not real porous. Oh, okay. See, you're an old guy, huh? You're a blue. Tag. You take them all off every year, like every all, every deer's antler. Anything that off. we don't sell, we'll take off. Yeah. gritting their teeth together. They grit their back teeth together. That's one of their first warning signs of the other ones to get out of my way. Oh. If you didn't take them off every year, what would happen? Do they, they grow kill each or? Other. Yeah, they'd kill each other for sure. Why do they have their mouths open like that? They're like panting. <laughs>
these, these holes on both sides of the wagon are called wallows, and our deer, when there is mud, and even when there's not, they seems like they like to lay around in it, but uh, they love to roll around in the mud. They mostly do it in the summer to cool off, but I think they also do it to help keep the flies from bothering them as bad. But they, uh, they take their hooves and they take the dirt off the bank and mix it in with the water and they'll roll all around in it. I've seen them do it in the middle of winter time though, so some of it I think they just do for fun, but when they get out of the wallow, they kick their back legs up in the air and they jump around and you can tell they're feeling good. But it's been so dry here that we haven't had much rain. Yeah. So these are actual natural springs coming out here? Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a, yeah, there is, but they're just even, way. even that there isn't much running in. But they've taken all this dirt away on their bodies. All these holes that you see, they've yeah. made all those holes. They're not anything that we've made for them. Are they always out here? They don't have a barn or anything that they go back to? Or? They have the woods that they can hide in. Right, but... But no, like, not a even barn. Even like all year long, they're out. Yeah, so. they're outside. Yeah, they're, they're very, even in the wintertime, they're very well insulated. Yeah. They don't mind the cold weather. What happened to this guy's antler? <laughs> Oh, he broke it off at some point in the velvet stage. I don't know exactly from what, but then it started regrowing again. He's one that actually comes all the way into the wagon. There's not many in this group. That's why we don't stop here. But. Oh, look where it's coming off. Okay. Yeah. So the older they get, will they get that that elkish? Uh, type of an antler. The older they get, they'll get more of the red staggish antler, which will, they'll get the crown on top of their antler. Like this one here. Yep, they'll get, they'll get a lot more points in the top of their antler. Oh, okay. What about the down, the down tines? Is that the drop tines, do? that's just something that's unique to the antler. Okay. So, will the same antler pretty much produce, uh, the same deer produce the same antler every year? Yeah, pretty well. you guys enjoyed that i'm sorry for the shakiness uh like my other videos all my camera stuff was stolen so i gotta make do with my phone but i hope you enjoyed that those are some pretty big racks on those deer huh but uh check out my channel make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys down the line thanks for watching